They're setting it up for Carmelo to get it on the left side. Melo is wide open. He's going to pull up. All right, all right, all right. What if I told you I could give the Seattle Supersonics a second opportunity? You see, this dude had tweeted out, they could have a team in Seattle tomorrow from just NBA free agents with the guys you see on the screen right now. So Seattle's back. Uh, my main Melo, seven years younger. Everybody's the same exact age. Why? Because I'm biased. And we're going to see what the hell this team does. Uh, obviously, you know, this isn't the greatest team of all time or something, but I didn't like my first intro and I simulated a couple games. And actually, I mean, they've beat the Timberwolves, the Rockets, the Treble. Blazers, the Timberwolves again, the Celtics. That's that's not bad. Maybe we push for a playing spot. Who knows? Or maybe we tank for Victor Wembanyama. We'll see. Wow, two wins against the Thunder. Maybe because they suck and Chet got injured. And shout out to this guy from the last video who said I could see them reaching the the round of the playoffs that they all lock in. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is, but I did just realize his name is King So Shooter. Hashtag I will slap Cash Nasty. How old is that using it? Unsurprisingly, we have no All Stars and we're now the worst team in the league. That's that's great. Oh wow, I like I like a James Harden MVP. MVP, you know what I'm saying? A nice little old man MVP. Small forward slash center, LeBron James. Oh, wow. 14th seed. Now, what team in the NBA could possibly be worse than the wor the Houston Rockets and the Oklahoma City Thunder? Or worse than the team filled with uh, NBA free agents? So, that I mean, that's a solid little experiment. Also, no, that's it. Everybody else is, is better, but uh, close enough. You know, the Magic and Pistons were very close at being worse. Saw some dude comment the other day. I just was reminded by it because the Knicks are in the playing game. Um, I had said something like, I don't like the play in game and then dude was like oh well the knicks only can make the playoffs because of the play-in game like they didn't make it last year without the play-in game that's all i'm saying i i know they fell off but i i the, the J wait what did i make this i think i made this roster before they traded donovan oh or rudy oh maybe i just oh all right no i just didn't use the updated roster well to be honest i mean the, the game comes out in, in like four days this might be the last time we ever see the old rosters so screw it we'll just rock with it for this video who cares because it's not going to be anytime soon i'm doing a throwback video to uh you you know 2k22 hell i still haven't done one to 2k20 that was the biggest 2k you know that, that was my debut year basically of uh of relevance the wow the supersonics i mean i know they were worse that are my bad they were better or actually wait i didn't simulate the rock oh yes i did yes i did they had the second best odds and got the sixth pick that is tough they fell about just as far as they could have and uh now who will they be drafting who could potentially save this team of a bunch of old men nick smith no clue who that is i remember the dude who was a youtuber though no clue who the hell this is though is he the savior is he our savior love doing these team simulations with an absolutely just barraged garbage team vince carter hall of fame i guess we'll see and his floor is jamal crawford and we are in this in seattle so i mean i mean i won't say we'll be happy but we'll you know whatever i guess we'll accept them see how much he dominates this season a team of fully old men montrez harrell who's still kind of young and nick smith and hamadou we signed and bruce brown and that's about it oh man before this video goes any further i gotta shout out to the sponsor prize picks and that's the easiest place to make any of your daily fantasy sports and Entries in the entire world. Make sure to use the code CLICK and after you click the link in the description for up to $100 back and up to a $100 deposit. Let me show you how it works. Now, as you may know, we are currently not in the NBA season, but I can tap into a little bit of NFL knowledge. Now, first and foremost, half a yard for Tom Brady, half a yard. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Take the over. Boom. Thank you very much. More. Also, just looking through these Cooper Cup, dude is a beast. You know what I'm saying? You got to get him for more. Hopefully, he gets one touchdown. Over here talking like I know, no, but like my NFL knowledge is solid, you know? Sorry, but I'm a bet on Winston's downfall. Say he gets an interception. Tyreek Hill can most certainly catch and run. So we're going to say he gets some receiving yards. And uh, why not Tyler and Buffalo? Hit all the field goals you want. I put $20 down on that. Potentially get $200 back. And if I don't even get all of them right, I can still get two times as much with four correct and point four with three. You still get some money back regardless. Just don't fully fail. Remember to use the code CLICK after clicking the link in the description for up to 100% back to $100 in a deposit. Thank you to PrizePix for sponsoring. And now to get back into the video. Wait, I just realized if I didn't use the up updated roster. Chet and them aren't even in the game, right? I kind of feel like just skipping that draft. Screw them. No, no, you know what? No, we'll bring him. We'll bring him in. We'll see if like we can draft the Chet Holmgren or something. Oh my God. Who is Jabari Walker? We'll go in the reverse order. Why not? Every one of these videos is garbage anyways. Uh, Nick Smith sadly is not an all-star, but actually we're the eighth seed in the conference. That's not that bad. What the hell? How did Paul George get here? Did, don't tell me. we Did we trade a first round pick for Paul George? Oh yeah, by the way, sorry it's a 64-65, but I replaced this team with the 64 65 Celtics and they just kept the 64 65. Uh, actually, we only traded Montrez and Dennis Schroeder to get Paul, so I guess we're not gonna get Chet Holmgren in them, anyways. And now we're kind of okay. Paul George, 85 overall, carrying us to the promised land. Who could don't you? Honestly, bro, the awards are overrated. You know, ain't that right, Victor? Spurs, man. Six seed. We actually made the playoffs. Can I actually let me see some team identity 64? Remove wait, what is the 64 65 just locked in? Hold on, let me try this. Rewrite it or something. No, it. it 
we're just we're just old i guess just by default yeah that's 65 ain't going nowhere but we made the playoffs without the playing game that's what i'm talking about right after i was talking about that last season with no playing game yeah screw the playing game nick smith and paul george the greatest duo of all time throwing carmelo anthony in there as well and avery bradley let's do it demarcus cousins to be fair most of the old dudes that be free agents in 2k are always like the greatest value players they have high shot tendencies efficient oh my we're about to beat the memphis grizzlies wait don't blow a 3-1 oh paul okay screw it let's have some fun here it is john Morant. oh my god going around nick smith to the basket the little floater is good tied game 104 104 oh yeah also these aren't like official seattle jerseys they're just like uh, new school kind of they're not like the old school ones i just downloaded a dude that made them and they look nice they look like a modern day oh my god paul that was some garbage but it doesn't matter because it favored us john Morant for three he takes it back taking the lead with 120 left paul george number 13 himself trying to carry layup blocked by jaron jackson into the first row carmelo anthony subs in paul george just subbed out of the game oh my dennis smith jr's in here dennis gets to the top of the key the screen by nick smith dennis goes to the basket smith jr layup is off rebound by nurkic dylan brooks out to ja morant morant guarded by smith over to bain for three and desmond misses it that's his forte but it didn't work out that time smith brings it back up the other way no paul george and i have no clue why the pass down to carmelo anthony in the post to potentially take the lead Mello, eight seconds left Mello posting up jaron jackson jr he takes the tough shot and it is good by carmelo anthony 29 seconds left ja morant takes a timeout ja morant to the basket he stops he's going nowhere dennis Smith jr still there but he gets the bucket anyways it's only dennis Smith jr guarding him we have the game winner opportunity eight seconds left they're setting it up for carmelo to get it on the left side Mello is wide open he's gonna pull up the close shot is good they handed it to him on a silver platter the defense folded you can't even write that up oh my god carmelo anthony the game winner he's in his prime Dude, i forgot isaiah thomas was on this team there he is sitting on the bench i just realized this is our sponsor is amazon on the jerseys too i guess you know it fits the green theme i don't really know what uh, john Morant. wow it doesn't matter we are going on to the second round off the mellow game winner all right minnesota we beat these guys a couple times early in last season oh my game one is a win game two is a win come on oh no we, we're about to lose three straight it's about to be over yep i knew it i knew it i knew it we went to ot as well wow hey it was a valiant effort we'll be back next year i don't know if paul george will be but shoot i mean i don't we'll be somewhere that's hey we'll, we'll be in the league brandon ingram finals mvp yeah we wouldn't have beat no pelicans anyways don't worry we're still gearing up and actually you know what i wanted to do go grab jamal crawford from the abyss what's crazy is he's really not in the game anymore well actually wait is he even in the game i don't even know if is he on the all-time clippers i don't think jamal crawford's in the game at all wait this this is gonna be the moment of truth is he on this team oh yeah no he's just gone oh wow oh there goes that grand idea hall of fame see you dwight howard the nba draft lottery um we really don't have a dog in this fight i guess huh after all of that i guess we'll take the 19th pick and uh chet holmgren and then we'll be coming into the league and we get tie tie hollow to the spurs chet to the magic and jabari to the pistons well that's all messed up and keegan murray to the rockets yeah i don't know if paul george is on like a contract year or something that's why we got him for such a little guard uh no i guess not he's an 81 though he kind of sucks yeah mellow is actually younger in this universe that i created aka just making mellow younger and doing nothing else and nick smith doesn't look like he's gonna be a hall of famer 80 overall after one year i, I don't know all right this might be a good year to tank guys you know you don't have a lot of long-term expectations here and oh yeah we'll probably go for like 10 years i don't think 2k soundtracks will ever reach the place that they were in 2k 13 again 2k 13 soundtrack is probably like the third most impactful thing that's happened on my life nowadays i just turn off the soundtrack and they're probably good but like i guess i also didn't know the songs on 2k 13 before i heard like now like it's like okay oh you guys want to be cool and hip and put earth gang like okay yeah i've heard the album screw you and then they have their like seven like randomly curated songs about basketball like somebody why is zion on the pacers like they'll have some like random rapper that they just just created like from ai or something they'll be rapping about 2k and then you'll never hear about him ever again why is chris stops for on an all nba team we are the 11th seed you know honestly yeah sure we need good luck and tanking and all that stuff what is this year number three pacers won the ring led by zion of course they did i don't know if there will ever be a greater 2k player than zion and except for like 2k20 mikey williams nba draft lottery win oh my god fourth is good we we were not that bad enough to be fourth so we must have had good luck yeah sure so this is the next year we could either draft uh xavier booker or i i don't know any of these guys but screw it be good at basketball i don't care you could be you could be named carl malone for all i care kwame evans jr welcome to the team they're saying he's the next scotty pippen scotty pippen's having a bad week um his wife got stole by michael jordan's son i don't even know they're still together but like she still has pippen in her name so what am i to believe you know paul george is still here did Melo 
over where I, shoot Melo isn't here so that's that's all i know i mean he was too young to retire and he was on a six-year contract he's just on the sun we traded him to phoenix i don't know what we traded him for but i know it was a bad trade either way and maybe it was the pick no it definitely wasn't the pick how you doing killeen hey somehow you're here maybe that's how shout out the chance the rapper for shouting out bull bull he said i'm an emotional roller coaster with high so high but bull bull on a poster great bar john morant john morant john morant john morant oh wow we're the fifth seed that's actually kind of impressive 11 seed the fifth i don't think i've ever seen such a bipolar basketball team hamadou diallo is our uh, you know prime scorer he's shooting 54 percent with 14 points i've always liked this guy you know but he confuses me but i still like him he reminds me of uh like he's you know what archetype he is well who's the dude on the bulls come on baby show me the money there he is I, I didn't even think it was this long ago him david nawaba there he is hamadou diallo david nawaba javon carter um javante green they're all the same guy different fonts oh my god we just came i swear to yo and that's crazy look at who we're playing we just came back from down 3-0 on okc i was just sitting here looking at it like oh suspecting nothing we're probably gonna lose 4-0 but then i'll announce sadly to my audience that we lost 4-0 game one we lose game two we lose game three we lose and then we win three straight games to win game seven and advance to the second round yet again for the second time in the video playing the rockets second round they have dejounte murray now he's back in texas just on arrival that was a double entendre and we are about to lose probably 4-0 again oh wait hold on yep there it is 4-1 all right well close enough rockets 4-1 Jalen Green finals MVP. It's kind of impressive. They beat Zion. Iman Shumpert retired. We should have had him on the team too. What the hell? Eli Ndaye and Nick Smith might just be a little bit better. Jamal Crawford. Jamal Mosley, coach of the year. He looks like he run for president. Oh my god. 15th seed? Screw it. I'll take I'll take the tank season. But what the hell happened? I mean, we've got our two young guys who kind of suck. But you know, that aside, I mean, Malik, um, I, hell, I don't know. Kwame shot 44%. I mean, his name's also Kwame. Boogie is a 72 overall center, obviously. And he, I think he's still, yeah, he's still starting for us we need a center bad we need players bet ty ty nick smith kwame can hold down the future now we need a power forward and a center badly oh wow somehow atari easton's here too i forget what team that i think the rockets i've seen some videos of him though dennis smith jr is not even playing we need a center bro dennis smith jr might as well play center boogie shot 37 percent at center no wonder we ain't do nothing Cade cunningham finals mvp with the pistons 4-0 sweep over the thunder boogie retire okay no i love boogie too but like bro go paul george just retired he wasn't on our team anymore more so i don't care draft lottery uh i just oh wow we have two picks three picks wow did we we tanked hold on wait let's see oh my number why did one of our picks drop down to 14 was it not just like five one and uh, screw you guys oh my god how many am i tweaking maybe i'm tweaking it doesn't matter we got the number one overall pick who can we draft this year koa pete okay koa pete's usually solid zion collins uh declan daru let's see rookie signings let's do it koa pete killian machine and M michael this guy is not gonna be good and he's the only center we drafted at least koa is a power forward though we didn't need one of those anyways please sign a center zach levine got signed uh koa uh, uh eli eli it's time for you to take over since six eight center looking like um oh bismack biombo or zach randolph zach randolph wasn't a center he probably couldn't protect the rim like a center but he could rebound like a center like all hell he just told me there's a problem with my connection to 2k screw am i really about to have to let's see if 2k servers are down yeah they're, they're just not it's just not screw it we're in 2020 27 we're about to be who cares about the draft club well we do but you know it could be random who cares oh well i forgot there's a 16th seed yeah we we are the 16th seed or at least we were flirting with the 16th seed darius garland i've been seeing a lot of darius garland propaganda especially with the donovan mitchell trade and i love darius garland's a great dude seattle koa pete rookie of the year number one overall pick but yeah darius garland's the most valuable player i don't think I, that might be a first that i've ever seen that but that's that's fantastic you know he's he's the next he's gonna be one of the next greatest point guards of all time time probably i mean i don't it's just he's got he's got it in him as long as you don't get injured i know he's injured in college we're the eighth seed we're in the playing game when we beat san antonio the question the answer is no and we win in, against denver though so we're in the first round against the houston rockets we win game two i mean that, that's impressive but we're probably gonna lose four to one never mind four to two yeah there it is cole pete leads us to the eighth seed and who was started was that our our one dude starting at oh my oh we traded for jeremiah robinson earl not bad not bad kind of sucks he actually yeah wow 30 percent in the playoffs you suck you're awful we tried so there that's it that's always something this is actually a really good team now nick smith is a 90 he might actually be a hall of famer zach levine's an 86 kwame evans is an 83 and koa pete's only a rookie got about like three or four years maybe five left carl towns how you doing probably well you won a finals mvp let me see if i can put in the rock the draft class yet ah there it is 2027 will we somehow finesse more picks i don't know did we trade for more uh, we got 
got Chase Foster. 76 overall at 18 is pretty good. I know we signed uh, Zach Levine, but I would think that we could have ever had some at some point had money to sign someone of more, you know, better, better and not this old because he's already getting worse and we just gave him $60 million. The Anthony Melton's here though, so that's always a good thing. Any, any center, please? Nope, we're just going to keep on betting on Eli. Respect. I like doing team simulations because you get attached to the whole team. Well, I guess you could do that in a career simulation too, but then the player might just, you know, dip. I think I was talking about my friends the other day and, you know, I said that uh, we are closer to, uh, unless I'm just wrong, at the, at the very least, we're close. I didn't think of this through, but I'm not going to now. We're closer to 2025 than we are to 2020, right? It's kind of wild. We're closer to halfway through the decade than we were starting. The I remember like, oh, wow, 2020, oh, cool year and stuff. Same thing twice. Repetition, alliteration, like, bro. I hey, we're the first seed, though, so that's always cool. And it's 2027. Jabari Smith Jr., your most valuable player. That's that's intriguing. Jamal Mosley, coach of the year again. And we are the first seed, 56 and 26, but we're probably not the best because, yeah, Jamal Mosley's team, the Pistons, with, oh, my God, Lonzo, K, Jabari, Sadiq. That is an insane team, but hopefully we just get the chance to play him in the finals. With our uh, Omaha, Billy U, Koa Pete, Kwame Evans, Nick Smith, and DeAnthony Melton-led team. Beautiful. And then we have a uh, Ty Ty Washington is gone. Yeah, I don't know where the hell he's at. Click the button. First round, Memphis. See ya. Second round, Phoenix. See, see ya to us. We got cooked. Ben Simmons and Ron Holland combined for a, a triple-double of 20, 24, 10, and 17. And Ron dropping 40 to us just getting dog. First game, we lost by like 40-something, 40 45. Second game, we lost by three. Third game, we lost by seven. And fourth game, we lost by like 30-something. Uh, almost 30. Almost 30. Okay, we got cooked by Phoenix. And they got cooked by the Clippers, and then they got cooked by the, the, the Pistons. So, yeah, who cares? Just the chain of uh, food chain. We'll go with that. Draft lottery. Well, it's not like it matters this year. Unless we traded for the first pick somehow, we pull the Boston Celtics. Uh, I mean, 19th isn't that bad. We traded for one of those, but yeah, it's pretty bad. We don't care. After the next, probably like Kelly Olinick or something. I do not care. Poa Pete and Nick Smith. And oh, DeJounte Murray is in Seattle. He is here. The man who I, I, I'm pretty sure is from Seattle. That was the whole point of the him and Paolo beef, right? Oh my God, my voice just it died. Lamella ball, lamella ball, lamella ball. Oh, screw Ben Simmons and his DPOI, bro. Beating the hell out of us last year. Fourth seed in the conference. First round, New Orleans. No Zion, we win. Second round, Phoenix. They beat us again. And there go the Suns to win the finals. Seattle is down terrible. We had a fun game seven that one time. Then we traded Melo. We've been cursed ever since. It's like trading Patrick Ewing. He's the founding father of the Seattle Super... The 64-65 Seattle Supersonics, might I add. Lamella Ball did it again and did it again and did it again. First seed again. What's the, what's the team looking like now? Nick Smith, Koa Pete, Jason Asamoda, DeJounte Murray. Bar barely scores? That's true. Wait. Oh, yeah. No, it's his second year here. So I guess he didn't make much of a difference last year, huh? Anthony Davis, old man. He might actually be starting. Wait, let me check that out real quick. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. Okay. He, he's barely even playing. And Zach Levine, by the way, 77 overall. Not in the rotation, making $21 million. He gave him one year too many, but it means a lot of money will be freed up this year if things go according to plan. All right. First year, I mean, my, my bad. First round, we win. And second round, we're about to lose again. 3-3. Three, 4-3. Three. Three, we just came back from down 3-1. Love to see it. Playing Denver. They're the seventh seed. This should be an easy win. Come on. I know they made it this far, but like we're like a powerhouse. We should be winning, not losing. Okay, there we go. Cavaliers, NBA Finals. We're finally here. DeJounte Murray versus Darius Garland. Nick Smith versus Isaac Okoro. Andrew Wiggins back in Cleveland after his summer league appearance there, like say eight, uh, at this point, like 15 years ago. Koa Pete, 97 overall versus 95 overall. Evan Mobley and Jared Allen versus Chase Foster. One of our weaker positions has always been that. And uh, I just wanted to see. Yeah, Koa Pete is the fourth best player in the league now. So our former number one overall pick from just four years ago is already taking over the league, taking the league by storm. One of the five best players in the league. We'll see if in, uh, whenever he gets drafted in a couple of years, if he's even relevant anymore, if he's still a legend. We'll see, you know? Someone will come back to this video and, uh, you know, quote this or something. Because, like, I remember when I used to do simulations on, like, 2K14 or 15, and Scout Labissier was a legend at every single one. Well, not on YouTube. I didn't do them. But, you know, just doing rebuilds in my uh, past time as a child. Oh, Pete has 36 points. Evan Mobley has 33. And there is 124 left in game one of the finals. They have the basketball. Bobby Porter still in the NBA. He passed into Garland. On our on our Seattle Supersonics court, Garland. Gonna throw it down low to Mobley. Mobley, I think he's got it by Mo Wagner right now, who I saw was on our team. And Mobley gets the end one. Mobley, the free throw is good. One point lead for Cleveland. Nick Smith, been here, literally the dude who we drafted, what was it, first season or maybe second, I don't know. Koa down low, the fadeaway is good. Koa Pete looking like an iconic figure out there. Seattle savior, a 97 overall. Garland, the 
screen by Mobley. The slip down low, and that is easy. The awful defensive play by our team, whoever the hell that was. I mean, what's this guy's name? Killian Mashi, something like that. He's got the basketball. The screen by Nick Smith. They're setting up Koa Pete on the left side against Mobley, one of the best defensive players probably of all time at this point. He's a tall bastard, this 6'10 man. He gets double team, throws it over to Killian. Killian, he's got the length of the basket. He does not take it. He a nice little, okay, yep. Kill, Killian, the layup is blocked. One point lead. I, his, his name might not even be Killian, honestly, but screw it. It is now. Mobley, okay, switched on to by Koa. And they're running the ISO from Mobley at the top of the key. He's going to go right. He's going left. He's trying to zigzag back out, makes his way to Wiggins. Wiggins is screened by Mobley. He pulls up mid-range. Shot is good by Andrew Wiggins. The deep mid-range. The thing that he was demonized for throughout most of his early career because he took too many of them and missed too many of them. And he might have just hit a finals game winner off of one of them. But let's see. We got one more chance. One more shot. One more opportunity. Asimota passes it into. It is Foster. Foster over to Koa. Koa goes left. Double team. One more. And we got an open Mashi for three. And he hits it. Mashi ties it up. Seven seconds left. And Cleveland's got the ball. Wiggins into Garland. Garland. Five seconds left. Pass it down. And it gets stolen. The, the steal by Seattle. Throws it up. Koa full court. It is all. But what a steal. But I, but I think that was Nick Smith. Looking like Frank Nielakina in the passing lanes. We're going to overtime. He saves the day. It might have probably been automatic by Evan Mobley. Let's be honest. In overtime now. And man, we are really about to have a new 2K in a couple days, huh? Re-simulations from 83. And hold on. We'll take this win. Thank you very much. We had a valiant, you know, late game effort that we already saw. So screw it. We'll take it for granted that uh, the 36 from Nick Smith and the 42 from Cole Pete was enough to win this basketball game. 1-0 lead over Cleveland. Make it a 2-0 lead over Cleveland. We just won by 40 points. 40 point win. Koa Pete had 38, 18, and 5. My God. Okay, a win by Cleveland. Garland with a fantastic 38 and 10. And another win for Seattle. We're actually about to win a ring. And we are winning the NBA Finals. The Seattle Supersonics. A one, an insane final scoring efforts, by the way. Look at the score. Another 162 point game. I think we had 162 in the other one as well. 45 from Nick Smith. The dude who I've definitely doubted at times. 93 overall, six foot five shooting guard slash point guard. He's been in the league. This is our eighth year, or I guess ninth year. And Koa Pete, of course, is the finals MVP. He's different. I'll give us, uh, you know, I said I'll go 10 years. I believe this will be number 10 right here. As Anthony Davis retired, I believe we just got him his ring. I think he was on our team. Whatever. I'm not going to click on his player card. I don't care enough. Number 10. Can we just see if we'll repeat? Don't put too much stock into this. I'm just happy we won a ring, but can we repeat? Koa Pete. Okay, this is worthwhile. Koa Pete, most valuable player. So on and so forth. Let's, yep. Uh huh. Zion, Koa, the 64 65 Supersonics, the greatest team of all time. Let's see if we could repeat. Are we about to lose 3 1 in the first round? Oh, the sun, screw the sun. Screw them. Screw you guys. Thank you for watching. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you came out with channel at all. Shout out to Jalen Green for winning another championship. Get the hell out of here, Phoenix. This is garbage. K Killian Mashi, I was right on the name. Thank you for hitting that three last year. Nick Smith, thank you for being around for the past 10. Koa Pete, you god. Sometimes you seen that little extra push and it just so happens to be 98 overall. Hello, Gary Trent Jr. That's it. Shout out to DeJounte Murray. I'm gonna get the hell up and out of here. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you care about our channel at all. And I'm gonna get the hell up and out of here. Good.